The information you're about to learn is meant solely for your protection, not for hacking or causing harm. We want to make it absolutely clear, this knowledge is a shield, not a weapon. Our primary goal is to empower you to recognize and understand digital threats so you can take control of your privacy and safeguard your personal information. In a world where cyber attacks are becoming more common, being aware is your first line of defense. We are not here to teach you how to break the law or exploit vulnerabilities for personal gain. Engaging in illegal activities online can have severe consequences, including criminal charges, hefty fines, and lasting damage to your reputation. Think of this knowledge as similar to learning how burglars might break into a house. Not so you can become a burglar, but so you can better secure your own home and protect what matters most to you. By understanding the tactics and tools used by cyber criminals, you'll be better equipped to spot suspicious activity and defend yourself against potential attacks. Knowledge is your armor in the digital world. Throughout this chapter, we'll explore the methods and tricks that hackers use, not to encourage you to use them, but to help you recognize the warning signs and respond appropriately. In today's interconnected world, ignorance is a liability. Not knowing how to protect yourself can leave you vulnerable to scams, identity theft, and other digital dangers. Use this knowledge responsibly. Apply what you learn to strengthen your own security and help friends and family stay safe online. Never use these techniques to invade someone's privacy or compromise their safety. Remember, the responsibility for ethical use of this information rests with you. Every action you take online has consequences, so always choose to act with integrity and respect for others. Our mission is to create a more secure, informed, and resilient community. By sharing this knowledge, we hope to empower everyone to take control of their digital lives and support one another in staying safe. We strongly condemn any misuse of these concepts for spying, harassment, or any form of unethical behavior. Such actions go against the very purpose of this chapter. Let's work together to reinforce our commitment to privacy, security, and ethical behavior for everyone in our digital world. With the right knowledge and the right intentions, we can all help make the internet a safer place. Before we dive into how calls can be intercepted, it's important to first understand the fascinating journey your voice takes every time you make a call. Most of us don't think twice about what happens after we hit the call button, but behind the scenes, a complex process unfolds in mere seconds. When you speak into your phone, your voice is instantly converted into a stream of digital data. This data is then encrypted, meaning it's scrambled into a code that's hard for outsiders to understand and sent wirelessly to the nearest cell tower. This is the first step in keeping your conversation private. From the cell tower, your call enters a vast interconnected network. This network is made up of thousands of towers, cables, and servers, all working together to find the fastest route to your recipient, whether they're across the street or on the other side of the world. This entire journey relies on the Public Switch Telephone Network, or PSTN, which has evolved from old analog switchboards to today's high-speed digital exchanges. These upgrades have made calls faster and more reliable, but they've also introduced new security challenges. As your call travels, it's decrypted and re-encrypted at various points along the way. Each time this happens, there's a brief moment when your data is more vulnerable, creating potential weak points that attackers might try to exploit. Modern networks like LTE and 5G use advanced encryption methods to protect your data. However, this protection isn't always end-to-end. -end. In some cases, your call is only encrypted between your phone and the tower, or between certain parts of the network, leaving gaps that can be targeted. The most vulnerable points are typically the link between your phone and the cell tower, and within the carrier's core systems, where calls are processed and routed. If someone can access these points, they might be able to listen in. If a carrier's systems are compromised by hackers, or if law enforcement agencies are granted lawful intercept access, your call could be exposed without your knowledge. Even employees with special access could potentially misuse their privileges. Every step in this process, from your phone to the tower, through the network, and finally to the recipient, is a potential target for attackers. Hackers are constantly searching for weaknesses, whether it's outdated software, unsecured connections, or human error. Encryption is a powerful tool that makes it much harder for outsiders to access your calls, but it's not foolproof. No system is completely immune to attack, especially as technology and hacking methods continue to evolve. That's why it's so important to understand where the weak points are in your call's journey. By being aware of these vulnerabilities, you can take steps to better protect your private conversations.
such as using secure apps or keeping your software up to date. The more you know about how your call travels through the network, the better equipped you'll be to defend it. Knowledge is your first line of defense in the digital world. Now let's take a closer look at how attackers exploit these vulnerabilities and what you can do to stay one step ahead. The simplest way to spy on your calls is by infecting your phone with spyware. Hackers trick users into installing malicious apps or clicking phishing links. Once inside, spyware can record calls, read texts, and track your location, often without any obvious signs. It can even activate your microphone when you're not on a call. Watch for sudden battery drain, overheating, or high data usage. These are red flags. Only download apps from official stores and keep your phone updated. Be wary of suspicious links and attachments. If your phone acts strangely, investigate immediately. Your vigilance is your best defense. Don't let spyware turn your phone into a listening device. Imagine making a phone call, completely unaware that someone could be listening in, without ever touching your phone. This is possible because of a device called an IMSI catcher, sometimes known as a fake cell tower. Hackers and cybercriminals use these sophisticated tools to intercept your calls and messages, all while you go about your day, none the wiser. IMSE catchers work by pretending to be legitimate cell towers. Your phone, always searching for the strongest signal, is tricked into connecting to the attacker's device instead of your carrier's real network. Once connected, the attacker can eavesdrop on your calls, read your texts, and even track your location in real time. To make things worse, IMSI catchers often force your phone to downgrade its connection to outdated 2G networks. These older networks use weak encryption, making it much easier for attackers to intercept and decode your private conversations and data. The scariest part? You won't notice anything unusual. Your call quality stays the same, and there are no obvious signs that your privacy has been breached. Attackers rely on this invisibility to gather information without raising suspicion. Originally, IMSI catchers were tools used only by law enforcement and intelligence agencies for surveillance. But now these devices have become cheaper and more accessible, falling into the hands of criminals and hackers worldwide. Modern IMSI catchers are small, portable, and incredibly hard to detect. They can be hidden in a backpack, set up in a car, or even carried through crowded public spaces, silently targeting dozens or even hundreds of phones at once. If you ever notice your phone suddenly switching to a 2G network, especially in a place where you usually have strong service, it could be a warning sign that an IMSE catcher is nearby. Always be cautious if you see this happen. Using IMSE catchers without proper authorization is illegal in most countries, but that hasn't stopped their spread. As these devices become more common, the threat to your privacy grows every day. By learning about IMSE catchers and how they operate, you can better recognize suspicious activity and protect yourself from falling victim to unauthorized surveillance. Always stay alert when using your phone in public spaces, especially in crowded areas like airports, concerts, or city centers. Your calls and messages could be at risk without you even realizing it. The best defense is awareness and using encrypted communication apps that protect your conversations from prying eyes. Regularly update your phone and be mindful of unusual network changes. But technology isn't the only weapon attackers use. Next, let's explore how hackers exploit human psychology to gain access to your information, combining technical tricks with psychological manipulation. Sometimes hackers don't need tech, they just need to trick you. Social engineering exploits human trust, not software flaws. Attackers may pose as your phone company, asking for passwords or pins. With this info, they can access your account or perform a SIM swap, hijacking your number. Suddenly, your calls and texts go to them, not you. They often use details from social media to sound convincing. Always be skeptical of unsolicited calls or messages asking for sensitive info. Never share passwords or security answers over the phone. If in doubt, hang up and call the company using an official number. You are the gatekeeper of your information. Trust, but verify, every time. Don't let social engineering open the door to your private life. These attacks aren't just theory. They've happened to celebrities, CEOs, and everyday people. The News of the World scandal saw journalists hacking voicemails with default pins. Jeff Bezos's phone was compromised by spyware sent via WhatsApp. Even governments have used these tactics for mass surveillance as revealed by Edward Snowden. Attackers' motives range from profit to power but the result is always a violation of privacy. These cases show that anyone can be a target. Robust security practices are essential for everyone. Vigilance isn't paranoia, it's protection. 
learn from these incidents to avoid becoming the next victim. Securing your phone is the first step to protecting your conversations. Use a strong passcode or biometric lock. Avoid easy pins. Keep your phone's software and apps updated to patch security holes. Only install apps from official stores and review their permissions. Deny access to features that don't make sense for the app. Watch for signs of compromise, rapid battery drain, overheating, or strange pop-ups. If you suspect a hack, back up your data and perform a factory reset. Regularly audit your app permissions and device settings. Enable automatic updates for maximum protection. Don't ignore warning signs, act quickly. Your phone is your digital front door, lock it well. Security is a habit, not a one-time fix. Stay proactive to keep threats at bay. For private conversations, use end-to-end -end encrypted apps like Signal or WhatsApp. These apps ensure only you and your recipient can read or hear your messages. Avoid standard calls and SMS for sensitive topics. They're easier to intercept. Be cautious with links and attachments. Phishing is a common attack vector. Limit what you share on social media to reduce your risk. Regularly check which apps have access to your microphone, camera, and location. Audit your account logins and enable two-factor authentication. Be mindful of your surroundings. Compromised phones can record even when idle. Avoid public Wi-Fi for sensitive communication or use a reputable VPN. A VPN encrypts your internet traffic, adding another layer of security. Good habits are as important as good technology. Stay alert, stay private. Instant global communication is powerful, but it comes with risks. Attackers constantly evolve, so your defenses must too. Security is a shared responsibility. Users and companies must both do their part. Demand transparency and strong security from your service providers. Use your knowledge to defend, not attack. Ethical use of technology protects everyone's rights. Don't let fear paralyze you. Let it motivate you to act. Simple steps, strong passcodes, updates, skepticism make a big difference. Your privacy is valuable. Guard it fiercely. Treat your digital life with the same care as your physical one. Stay informed, stay skeptical, and stay safe. The best defense is constant vigilance.